Okay, so let's have a look at the new structure editor in Game Guru Max. Um, it's here. You go File, Structure Editor. You click anywhere, and this will take you to the uh, structure editor. So what you do is uh, you select a texture and you create a floor. Okay, you can create a building, uh, a house anything okay kind of like minecraft Let's just uh, edit this quickly here and uh, they put some walls here I'm gonna use a different material for this okay you can see that uh, you can do this uh, super quick you can make hallways uh, anything you like very quickly actually let me okay and if you press R you can rotate just like that And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, okay, that's pretty similar to the previous uh, editor, and um, that's kind of true. But there are some new improvements and new things you can do in the previous uh, version of Game Guru. Okay, let me just. Uh, close this here I'm gonna make this a box actually okay another box here okay another box very quickly no need to uh, edit to import any models okay so let me add some uh, stairs to this and you can rotate this uh, whatever way you want I'm gonna put them over here and actually I don't want the texture I want something like concrete or well, maybe maybe the same kind of tiles there we go. Maybe you shouldn't try concrete. Okay. And uh, to create this second floor, all you have to do is uh, use your uh, scroll button, and your mouse, and uh, create the second floor. Just uh, don't paint over the stairs there, so. so you can actually go to the thickened floor. Just fill this up quickly. So you can make a, um, a dungeon crawler super quick in the um, Game Guru Max. Sometimes I see people like struggling to make a dungeon crawler in uh, 2d game engines and I'm like why don't you just take a uh, program that actually makes 3d games and stop struggling with like 2d programs to make 3d games like imagine how hard this is to make this in a uh, game maker studio I'm not saying that it's overly hard, but uh, it's it is more difficult <laughs> for sure. Uh, let me just place a couple of more walls here. I'm just doing this in a rush, just so I can show you. Obviously, you can take your time. Uh, I should mention that this is not a final product. This. Uh, 
version of Game Guru is not even finished. Actually, this is the older version of the, uh, the software. There might be a new update already up there. I haven't even checked in a shield. Let's check this if there is a new update. Maybe this will be the way to get down. And uh, just close that there. Rotate this. And uh, maybe we can add some sort of key or something up here. So the user have something to do here. Maybe you can play some zombies or a ghost or something. I don't know. Use your imagination. Now I'm going to make the uh, ceiling there. Uh, the ceiling is going to be red. Okay. And um, again, I'm going to use the um, scrolling button let's just say my mouse wheel okay and uh, you can keep going okay you don't you don't have to stop there but uh, we are going to stop here because uh, I just want to show you this, okay? I don't wanna, like make a full game like this. Like you can. Now, if you want to pre-order the uh, game Guru Max, you can. The link is down below. Uh, you can get it for I think I think it's half price or maybe even less. Uh, the longer you wait for the actual release date, the more it's going to cost you, okay? Then you're going to have to pay full price. For the chauffeur. So if I were you, I would probably order it right now. The link is down below. Like that, like that, like this. Super simple. Uh, there is also a delete mode, but I'm not sure if that wor that works. Remember, this is um, still in. Uh, under construction sort of thing. The software is being built as we speak. So what I want to do now is uh, I, I'm i going to click, uh, I think it's E. And that shows you your final product. Not that this is your final product. But uh, we are going to place a, a marker here somewhere so we can uh, get in there. Um, just place a marker here. Play the start. I'm gonna place that inside there. Okay, that's going to be over um, over there. And let's run this. Okay, here is our dungeon. Now, if you're not happy with the view, you can uh, press tab and go to the camera settings. And uh, let me just change the um, field of view. And I think everything else is fine. You can do the usual. You can tint this whatever color you want. Uh, let me see. Green, purple, whatever color you want, really. You can enable fog, fog distance, make it uh, super short. Okay, make this foggy. Mm, that is our fog. Okay, let me make the fog. Um, I think green is kind of cool. There you go, that looks more like a horror game. Fog intensity. Super foggy. Alright. Uh, ambience, you can change the ambience to whatever. 
right there. And like I said, I see a lot of people struggling to make a 3D games. I mean, simple stuff. And they're using 2D game engines to do all kinds of different hacks to uh, uh, to create stuff like this. I think I just trapped myself here. And you can put some spikes here and uh, maybe like a kill zone here for the player and maybe play like a dying sound and restart the, the level. Very simple to do in a um, game engine like Game Guru Max or even the normal Game Guru you could make something like this. Uh, super simple. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you this. Uh, um, you can pre-order Game Guru right now. The link is down below. Okay, alright, don't forget to smack the like button down below and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video.